So if you have a lot of comments, then there are different ways to review them inside of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So first of all, let me add in a comment by going into the comment section. And if I were to go over here and add in some comment, this is how it actually looks like. If you want to review it out, you can see that over here on the right side, you got a menu right here, which you can use to actually add in a check mark right here to mark it as if you have read it. And you can also go over here and set status such as accepted, uh, such as rejected and so forth, like canceled and so forth to uh, notify like what you what your reply is to the comment. Of course, you can also add in a reply right here. In the comment, you can also right click and open a pop up note, which you can use to respond to different kind of comments. So if you have a lot of comments, let's say, for example, I'm just going to go around and type in tutor tube right here. And then I'm going to go around over here on to uh, comment again and add in more comments such as tutor tube youtube channel and so forth and as you uh have more and more comments it might be hard to keep a track of them so what you can simply do is you can assess them out let's say for example you want to set out comment you can click on the sets button over here and then on the top you can simply uh write down let's say for example uh you can type in youtube and uh, uh go around over here and then in page you can see that uh, all the comments with the word YouTube on it actually pops up. I can also go over here and type in Twitter tube over here. And once I do that, all the comments with the word Twitter tube actually pops up. I can also do that and you can see that it also searches for this. Then another thing that you can do is you can go around and arrange the uh, comment according to author, by according to date, according to type over here. In my case, uh, you don't see much change. That is because uh, there's not much difference. Over here, you can also go around with check mark status. So if you do that, you can see that it has been divided into checked and unchecked right here, just like this. So if I were to go ahead and set this to, let's say, for example, add check mark. Now, what happens is that I can go around onto uh, this so I can go around and then choose another one like date. And if I were to go to check mark again, you can see that now this is in the check section and this is in the unchecked section and you're allowed to expand and, minim and minimize them as well. You can also set them uh, apart by color and so forth, by page and so forth. If you are to click on the comment, then you can, it, the uh, comment over here, like whatever uh, the comment is related with, it is just highlighted so it becomes for, uh, easier for you to track it down. Then over here on the side, you can see that you can expand all or you can collapse all to minimize them so that you got more room to actually work around. There's other option as well, like commenting preferences and everything else right here uh, to give you more control over the comments as well. And that is how you can review comments inside of uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.